Okay, in this video I will show you how to translate a short word document using Omega T. So the document is located in this folder, source text, and it looks like this. It's a small EU press release and there is a title in bold and two paragraphs and in the second paragraph there's a portion of text which is underlined. So we now move to Omega T and uh, Omega T is a free open source uh, CAD tool and it is Java based which means that it works in the Windows, Mac and Linux. Here we are using the latest uh, Windows version and it is uh, 2.5.5 When you start Omega T for the first time you get this uh, instant start window which is in fact quite useful so there are instructions about the main tasks you should uh, be aware of so instructions on how to create a new project how to move from one segment to the other how to generate the translated file and so on so let's uh, uh, do as suggested so we create a new project project and new and on my desktop i have a folder for omega t and this is where i will create my project which I will call Eurobarometer and save and um, Omega T selected the correct language code so I will translate from British English into French and uh, Omega T creates a bunch of uh, folders for various files so the source uh, documents translated documents uh, translation memories and so on I will accept all these defaults and there is now one thing missing which is the file the actual file that we want to translate so for that I will use the import source files button like this and I will select on my desktop the source text folder and this document that I showed you earlier so here I have some statistics four segments and I will close this so Omega T uh, highlights the first uh, translatable segment in green and it uh, duplicates this uh, source segment in the target segments. So I have to overwrite this text like this and like this. If I want to change the default, I can go to options and edit behavior and here I can choose leave the segment empty and OK and now I will move to the next segment so it's in go to next untranslated, untranslated segment control U so I press control U and now I have my second segment and it's empty so I can start translating it like this and again control U and uh, here I will translate it again like this and in this uh, segment there's a tag after the dash in biannual in French it's uh, semestriel so it's uh, just one word without any uh, dash and I believe I don't need a tag for that segment so I will leave it as it is and I will move to the next segment like this and I will translate it and here I have two tags for the most effective actor, so in French, l'acteur le plus efficace, and this is because in the source document this portion of text was underlined. So I have to uh, copy the tags, and in Omega T there is no specific command for copying tags, so I have to use Ctrl C, and here I will paste Ctrl V, and I will move to the second tag here and I will use again control V and I will just change the tag number from 0 to 1 like this. So tags appear as uh, with a light gray color and you can either copy them copy paste with control C control V or type them from scratch if you prefer. Now we'll press control U like this and well my document is uh, uh, ready and I can use the command uh, control D which is uh, this one here create translated documents 
and my document should have been created so I can check by going to my Omega T folder and to the Eurobarometer project folder and under the target folder I should have my translated document so let's open it Okay, so it looks uh, okay. I have uh, bold uh, for my title and uh, my two paragraphs. And in the second paragraph, I have uh, the portion of text underlined as in the original source document. So uh, Omega T was able to complete this uh, task. Thank you for watching and uh, do also watch my other videos on inexpensive CAD tools. So I have uh, videos about uh, Memsource uh, Cloud Personal, about WordFast Anywhere, about uh, Cafetran and about Metatexis. Do also hit the like button if you liked this video. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.